Good morning, everyone. Today we are going to discuss a new lesson that is about the density. Now you can see that in this picture, first picture you can see the size is greater than the, the size of the second picture, but you can see the number of particles now in the second picture, in this picture you can see that number of particles are more than the first one. So it means when you decrease the size, decrease the volume, so all the particles come close together. So it means that the density of the particle increases. Okay, so see now, if you keep the volume same, you're not changing the volume, but increasing the mass means number of the particles of material increasing. So it means density also increases. In first case, that we decrease the volume. By decreasing the volume, particles come close together. So density of the particle increases. But here in the second case, you can see that the size is same. Volume is same, but just we increase the mass. So it means we increase the density of the material. So again, you can see in this case that how do objects float? That for example, this, this is the water. This blue circle shows that these are, these are the water particles. So if you dip any substance in the water, you can see that. There are two substances. See now, these two substances, this right one, the particles are far away. It means more, less dense. Here, particles are close, so more dense. Now you will see which one will float and which one will sink. See now, the particles are far away here. It means that density is less, so less denser material substance will float so density of this substance is less than the density of the water here in second case the density is greater than the water that's why it sinks so it means that the object whose density is greater will sink and of and whose density is less will float okay now, which weighs more, a kilogram feather or a kilogram of iron? Of course, that both are kilograms, so it means that the mass is same. So, weight will remain same. Now, in this case, you can see that all three objects having the same volume, one centimeter cube, but one is wood, other is water, third is iron. But you will see that which has more weight. Of course, iron should have the more weight. Why? Because iron is more dense. The size is same, but you will see that wood mass is 0 0.50, water is one gram, and iron is eight gram. So size, the block is eight centimeter cube, but the iron is 8 gram. The mass of the iron is more. Why? Because of the density. It means the particles in the iron are very close to each other. So density is more. So the question is, which has the greatest mass and therefore the most dense? Of course, the iron has the greatest mass and more dense. So we can define density as it is the mass per unit volume. In unit volume means in one centimeter cube, how much mass density of that material. So mathematically you can write density is equal to mass divided by volume. Okay. So we can measure mass in gram or kilogram, volume in centimeter cube or meter cube and density the unit of density become gram per centimeter cube or kilogram per centimeter cube.
Now, this is the formula for density is a mathematical form that density equals to m by v. So this symbol is known as rho. This is the Greek letter. It represents the density. So rho equals to, we read it in this way, rho equals to m by v or density equals to mass by volume. So unit of density is kilogram per meter cube or gram per centimeter cube. So you can use a triangle for this triangle for rearranging the formula to calculate the density. Now here is the example, liquid water has a density of one gram per centimeter cube, while ice has density of 0.92 gram per centimeter cube. So calculate the volume occupied by 250 gram for, of each. So you have to calculate the volume. Just I will use the tools. See now, when you are going to calculate the volume, this formula will rearrange and become V equal, just cross multiply, just V will go here and rho will come here, okay? So it becomes M by rho. Now for water, see density of water is one, okay? And the mass is same for both. So you will write, 250 gram divided by one, one gram per centimeter cube. So gram will cancel with gram. So answer is 250 centimeter cube. This is now the volume of the water. Same, you will do for the ice, as now ice density is given 0 0.92, so 250 divided by 0 0.92, just I will show you. See, this is for the water, and this is for the ice, 250 divided by 0 0.92, that is 272 centimeter cube. So, the density of the water, see here, is one gram per centimeter cube, whereas density of ice is 0 0.92. It means density of the water is more than the ice. So that's why ice always flows in the water. Clear? Now, if you have a regular shape, so how we can find its density for this, we know the formula for the density that is mass per unit volume. Formula for the density is mass per unit volume. So mass is given to 40. So the regular shape formula you know for the volume, this is for example, of course, different shapes. For example, if it is a cube, so we use formula for the cube. And that is, this is the cube now, length times width times height. So see now, if it is given, width is given, height is given, length is given, so just multiply four times three times two, you will get the volume, okay? And then substitute here. See now, when you multiply it, it is four, sorry, four times three times two. That is 24. So volume is 24, mass is 240. So just divide 240 divided by 24. So density becomes 10 gram per centimeter cube. This is density of this material. So if you have an irregular shape like this, density of an irregular shape. So irregular solid density, of course, this formula is same, density is equal to mass by unit volume. But for this irregular shape, mass of the solid we can find out by using a balance and volume we will find and then calculate the density. So we need the volume, we need the mass. So volume, how we can find, there are different methods to find the volume, okay, for the irregular shape. For regular shape, as you know that there's a, uh, just mathematical formula you will use to calculate. 
But for irregular shape, there are different methods. Just you can put this in the water and by using the water, the cylinder, measuring cylinder, you can measure the, its volume also that I will tell you later on. So just if you know the mass and the volume, just you can divide into units. Now see here, density of uh, gold is 20 gram per centimeter cube, silver is 10 gram per centimeter cube. But see now, both are one centimeter cube, but density is different. So that's why gold is always heavy. You can see now in this, gold is heavy, why? Because it, both are one centimeter cube, but you can see density of gold is 20, silver is 10. That's why gold is always heavier than the silver, okay? But if you want to make it balanced, so equal, 20 gram mass if you want to make. So how it will happen? So you can see the size. Size of the silver, silver is bigger than the gold, then you can balance it. Okay. So This is table now, you can see that this, these are the densities of different substance. Density of the wood is 0.75 gram per centimeter cube, I 0.92, water 1, aluminum 2, copper 8, lead 11.8. See now, uh, ice and wood both have density less than water. That's why ice and wood both floats in the water. Whereas aluminum, copper, lead has a density more than greater than the water, that's why Aluminium, copper, and lead always sink in the water. As I told you, this is the row, is the then mass per unit volume, K formula. So how you can calculate what is density of a block of steel if it has a mass of 9,360 gram and a volume of 1,200 centimeter cube. Now, just by using formula density equals to mass divided by volume. So just divide 9360 divided by 1200 centimeter cube, you would get the answer 7.8 gram per centimeter cube. Second, what is the mass of the block? Now you have to calculate the mass in our second equation, this one. M equals to, they're asking what is the mass? So M equals to V times rho. So volume is given 19.3 gram per centimeter cube. And sorry, 540 centimeter cube. And density is given 19.3 gram per centimeter cube. Just multiply them, you will get the mass. And this question, what is volume of the block? Now they're asking volume, this third equation. Just rearrange V equals to M by rho. So mass is 1246 divided by density, that is 0.92, just divide them you will get this answer, 13,546 centimeter cube. This is the volume. Clear? Okay. Now, volume and density, volume of a liquid we can find out by using the measuring cylinder. So if you put the water, see here, so these numbers, you can read 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, this is basically the volume. So now, see if it is here, the reading here, it shows the volume of a liquid. So if, for example, it is between 150 and 200, about 175, okay, it depends. So by using a different formula, density is equal to mass by volume. So you can find out, see here, again, volume if you want to calculate, length times width time height, so if you have a volume, then you can use the formula of the density. If you have a cylindrical shape, so this is formula, volume of a cylinder, you study in the maths, that is pi r squared into height. So by using this formula, you will calculate the volume. Then you can put in the formula, density is equal to mass by volume, then you can get. Now see, this is another way to find out the volume of, as I told you before, the volume of irregular solid means that in this case, you know the volume formula. 
for surrender for the rectangular block. But this is the uh, irregular shape. You don't, you don't know the, the exact formula for that one. So for this purpose, what you will do, you will just, see, put this irregular shape in the cylinder. First of all, water is here. So water is how at what stage, for example, it is here to 155, okay? Water is 155 centimeter cube. When you put, this inside this one, when you immerse the irregular solid, so water rises to here, up to here, that is 235. So how much water rises? See, water rises. Till here. Okay, so how much water increase this? So this distance is how much? Just you will submit, subtract this distance. This was 235 minus 155. The answer is, see now, 80 centimeter cube. So this is the answer. This is the volume of irregular solid, okay? Another way is that using a Eureka displacement can. So simple is that. This is Eureka displacement can. You can see there's a space. Fill this with the water. Then put, immerse this substance in the water. See, now water, what will happen? Now water will come down inside this. All water will fall here. So there is a measuring cylinder. So how much water here gathered? You will measure this, and this is basically the volume of this irregular solid. Okay, because water come out. Why water come out? Because this solid replaced the water. So water will go out. How much water go out? That is the volume of that irregular solid. Okay. See now. Water come out, mass of irregular solid is 350. Okay, and vol volume is 80 centimeter cube, or volume we measure from here. Okay, so mass will be given. Volume you can find from here. So then 350 divided by 84.375 gram per centimeter cube. This is the volume of this irregular solid. Okay. Same thing, so mass of the irregular volume is given, uh, irregular substance is given, so find the volume, just immerse in the water, when you add water, just overflow, okay, up to this you will add water up to this line, so now place a measuring standard here, add the object in this, when object will add, water will fall down. See now like this, water rises. So how much water rise? So this will be the volume of this irregular substance. It is supposed 40 centimeter cube. So this is the volume. Now you can find the density. How you can find the density? Same formula, density equals mass by volume. So just substitute mass is 440 divided by volume is 40 centimeter cube. So this will cancel. This is 11. So answer is for this density. Sorry, no, no. We are not finding the density. Sorry. We are calculating the volume. So formula is density is equal to yeah, density we are calculating. Sorry, volume we have done. So I will undo yeah. so eleven gram per centimeter 
Q is the density. Okay, volume already we have calculated from here. Clear? Okay. Yeah, see 11 gram per centimeter cube. Okay, now the quiz questions I sent you in the Google Classroom, so you will solve that question also. So here is uh, some, sh some short question answers. See, just. Okay. Which block X has or Y has the greatest mass? So from here, you will decide which has the greatest mass. So of course, it is here 5,400. And second one is 7,800. But see now, 7,800 is a one meter cube and it is a 200 meter cube. So when you will divide this, so it is less. So X is having the same mass, a greater mass, that is 7,800, okay? Which block has a greater volume? So you will calculate the volume. So which has a greater volume? Of course, the Y has the greater volume. Density is equal to mass by volume. You can calculate, just divide this one. Mass is 5,400 divided by two. Okay, same thing you will do over there. In first X case, 7,800 divided by one. So answer is same, 7,800. Okay, now density of petrol is 800, density of water is 1000, which has more mass, one meter cube of petrol or one meter cube of water. So, of course, one meter cube of water has the more mass, which has more volume, takes up more space, one kg of petrol or one kg of water. Of course, when C density is less, you can now see density of the petrol is less. So when density is less, so petrol will occupy more space. So it means that it has, it's, it has a one kg of the petrol that is the most. Okay. So this aluminum density of aluminum is 2700 kg per meter cube. What is the mass of 10 meter cube of aluminum? Just substitute values, 27,000 kg. So just cross multiply first, because you have to find the mass. So just multiply this here. So mass is equal to rho times V. So this is rho density, and this is V. So just multiply, you will get the answer. That is 27,000 kg, this is mass. Clear? So I hope this question is clear now. If you have any doubt, so you can come on the live session. So I will explain you more. Remember this thing that after this recording, when you will watch this recording, so there will be a quiz. So I will send you a quiz about uh, density. So you have to solve that quiz. I will give you a specific time. I will write in the announcement box uh, that when there will be a quiz. So that quiz will be on a specific time only. I will give you the 20 minutes. So you have to solve that quiz in that specific time. So I will announce after watching this video. When you will watch this video, after that. So if you have any question, you can ask in the live session also, or you can just send text messages in the Google Classroom. Okay, so thank you very much. See you inshallah in the next class. Bye bye. Take care.